Good day to everyone. So today we're going to do parallel circuit connections. Okay, here are the materials that we're going to use. First are two pieces of 1.5 volts uh, batteries or a step down DC voltage converter. We need four pieces of mini receptacles, four pieces of bulbs rated at 2.5 volts, and finally wires and connectors. Here's a diagram that we're going to do today. Two bulbs connected in a parallel circuit connection. Now, we're going to do the actual connection for a parallel circuit, okay? So, basing from the diagram, okay, current isn't constant. It's not constant in a parallel circuit. Voltage is, okay? So, there will be a break in the current. So, a break in the current means there will be a junction, okay, in the connection. Again, the positive side of my converter is the red colored, okay, alligator clip. Okay, I'll be connecting two more clips in its positive terminal so there so as you can see red is the positive side so there will be a break okay in the connection uh, okay so now there's a break in current there's a junction one will go to the first resistor or bulb the next will go to the second okay so from your junction so we have a junction here one goes to the first resistor or bulb then the second or the red red clip goes to the second bulb okay now again negative side of this bulb and negative side of the other okay so this two okay will be connected again to form another junction now this junction goes to the negative side of the battery okay so I repeat there. So I repeat from the positive side, okay, there's a break, okay, break in the current. So split, one will go to R1 and the other one to R2. And then their negative sides will be connected again, going to the negative side of the battery. So as you can see, the lamps connected in parallel are brighter than the ones in series, okay? Why is that? Because here, current is not constant, but voltage is. So, in our first experiment, if we have 4 volts in series circuit, one will be using 2 volts and the other will be using 2 volts. So, voltage is divided, okay? But in this case, in parallel circuit, voltage is constant. So, whatever voltage R1 gets, R2 also gets, okay? But they have a split in current. So, I total here is I1 plus I2. Although, this will depend on the rating of the bulbs okay so to see if the rules of parallel circuit are true so there is a break in the current therefore if one bulb is disconnected the other bulb will still function okay so let's try it okay so there this one is disconnected but the other one still functions okay let's try the other one okay so this one is disconnected but the other one is still functioning so meaning they have separate loops okay now let's try to see using the voltmeter okay, so my power source now is 3 volts okay since each bulb only has rating of 2.5 volts so we can't exceed the value uh, with its tolerance value I, I think they could handle 3 volts okay but going above that bulbs will not function okay so let's try using the voltmeter or the voltage value so total of 3 volts okay so still moving I think it's around 2.8 to 2.9 volts okay so I think there's power loss also with the wires okay there's a, there's power loss that's why it isn't really equal to 3 volts okay so that's around 2.8 to 2.9 volts and here for the second Sister, we have a rating of ah, they're actually quite the same. Okay, so that's it. So we proved that the voltage of one bulb or resistor is equal to the other when connected in parallel. And again, current is not constant and it's not a single loop since when one is there, 
is removed, the other still functions, okay? Likewise, removing the other one, okay? One still functions, okay? So there is split in the current. There are two loops in the circuit, okay? So hopefully that helped you understand the principles of a parallel circuit. Thanks again for watching and good day to everyone.